All right, this is the famous Z Flake Dalton Point. This is a Pete Bostrom cast that I bought. Some of you may already have this cast, but for those who don't, let me give you a little bit of a history about this point. It was probably found about 29 years ago. It says here that the most significant trait, other than its undamaged and large size, is the very peculiar curve flaking that some people have termed Z flaking. And um, that's it right here on this edge. This is actually what we call hollow ground flaking. It's the same as you would find on a hollow ground steel knife. Now, the ironic thing is, is it was done without grinding. It's just the, uh, the edge style is what we refer to as a hollow ground because it's concaved on both sides. And um, he goes on to to say that hardly any of the flakes actually make a true Z shape, but many of the flakes do curve in a way that's atypical to Dalton flaking, and that no one seems to understand how it was done, and so far have not been able to duplicate this technique. And um, goes on later to say that it's one of the most skillfully made points ever found in North America, um, and that some of these Dalton points have never been duplicated in modern times. So sounds like a pretty tall order. Now I have successfully replicated this flaking pattern but the one problem I'm gonna have is that this is eight and a half inches long and since I live in California I really don't have a lot of uh, raw Burlington around here in that size range. I have a couple pieces that are a little bit smaller that I'll go ahead and use for this demonstration. Alright, so let's talk a little bit more about this point before I go ahead and get started. Um, obviously it's a truly amazing piece of work. Whoever invented this was a pure genius. Now the way that this particular point was napped is pretty much unlike anything else out there that's ever been created. Um, it's a very unique, very extremely specialized um, flaking style and particularly with this point right here there are similar Dalton points that have similar attributes like this olive branch point right here but you can see this one has hollow ground flakes on both sides and this one has slightly different flaking from one side to the other. If you look at these flakes on here, they go in and then they appear to curve. And it's a very unusual technique that we really don't see being used today. I don't know if there are any other guys out there that have managed to replicate this, but back when this cast was released no one had figured it out at that time now there's there are a few other interesting things I have to point out here um, first of all if you were to abrade these edges to remove these flakes it's absolutely impossible to recreate this flake scar pattern these flakes were taken off of a non-abraded platform and actually there are three different types of platforms that I'm going to discuss during the course of this presentation. Now the first one that was used here was used on uh, this side, on both sides actually. You see these flakes are a little bit different. Now those are what I would call recessed platforms. If you notice they don't overlap like these flakes do they're spaced out a little bit wider it's like that on both sides and so this piece was worked from the tip to the base and then the tip to the base on the other side and then it was reversed and worked from the base to the tip on both sides there is only one way to replicate this flake scar exactly and that's with a copper pressure flaker now, I've had my doubts about copper in the past, but having 
replicated quite a few smaller versions of this I found that there's really only one way to do it and that's with a copper tool. Now they had copper back then um, the extent of how much of it was used for flint napping will remain unknown however this point here in my mind proves that copper was used and more importantly it was used on this exact point in particular and you're going to see during the course of this demonstration there is only one way to get this flake scar pattern and that's with a copper tool on a, a non abraded edge now we already talked about the recess platform and what about these other flake scars here on the hollow ground side and this is what these Dalton points are known for right here now these flakes were each removed individually one at a time obviously off a special platform that I've termed a hollow ground platform now the reason why I call it a hollow ground platform isn't necessarily because we're working on a hollow ground edge but it's because the platform itself has a similar technology to the hollow ground flaking in general it's a very unusual technique that I'm going to show you here and then there's a third technique which I've demonstrated a little bit before which is what I call a hooked platform and that's where we use the jagged edge left over from the previous set of flakes and we hook onto that jagged point or row of points and we pry a flake off of the top of that platform now this flake right here I used to think this was a percussion flake which overshot until I did it one time when I was working on one of these I did it accidentally and I got pretty much an exact um, effect of this from a hooked platform now another thing too is this flute was also pressure flaked off of a hooked platform and I've managed to replicate that flute 100 percent pretty much exactly like this you notice on this edge it's concaved now that's what we've been talking about hollow ground and this piece was actually quite thick particularly on the marginal edges and because of the the heavy bulb left over from these flakes when we're digging in there deep it actually leaves a concave edge on both sides now, this is typical of Dalton technology right here and you see it on a lot of the very skillfully made Daltons I believe this one was probably made with the copper tool as well this is one of the I believe 13 or 14 exceptional specimens from the olive branch and uh, if you look on here it's got the same type of hollow ground flaking the difference between this one and the Z flaked is he was using hollow ground platforms going from base to tip base to tip and then base to tip base to tip working from the base to the tip all the way up on the whole thing where I was on the Z flake it's uh, tip to base and then base to tip on the other side with the exception of the spatial area